<sighs> Big surprise, I'm filming another intro in my truck. So I guess this is the official start of the Congress Chronicle vlogs. And if y'all don't know what the Congress Chronicle vlogs are, that's a mouthful to say, first of all. Um, I tried to do a vlog series last time I went to the Congress called the Congress Chronicles. Um, and just kind of filming everything I do in preparation and then filming there and everything like that. And obviously it was a hot mess. First of all, because my vlog experience was just not up to par. Second of all, because my Congress experience was horrible. But I'm gonna try it again this year and we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna try to film all my prep stuff and then film while I'm there and just give you guys a behind the scenes look at the mass chaos that is the Quarter Horse Congress. I was just trying to find my bicycle and I couldn't find it, which is extremely upsetting. And I don't know where the heck it is. And we are stalled in the Buckeye Barn this year. And that is apparently, I've never been stalled there. I've only ever stalled in the Gilligan. And apparently the Buckeye is like the opposite end of the showgrounds so I'd really love to find my bicycle to be able to get from one end to the other and not have to use my truck every time because I don't know how parking's gonna be so I'm gonna have to find that and I'm very upset right now but it's fine <laughs> as crazy as it is to say we are officially 15 days out from the day I'm leaving for Congress which is insane I'm going to be in Ohio for 10 days um showing I think four days, but I've got a ton of prep stuff to do today. I've got to clean the trailer, clean out my truck, um, just get everything kind of cleaned out and empty so that way I can organize while I pack and it's not a just clutter, dirty mess and because that just makes my anxiety go... perfectly she literally matched it to the fabric of my showmanship outfit um it's really misshapen i left it in the truck like once and it just died um but anyways the woman that dyed it for me two different forms of dye that was a horrible use of grammar but it's fine yeah see there's like a mark right there and like it's just it's sad looking anyways the woman that dyed it originally um is super awesome and she's letting me send it back to her to get re-dyed and all i have to do is send the paint that she used to make it. She sent it with me just for this purpose in case I ever had to have it redone. So I have the exact dye that matches it. So all I have to do is stick this in here and send it back to her and she's going to fix it for me and have it back to me before the Congress. Oh my God! Goodness, his new sheet fits. A friend of mine had one for sale. I had to get the big fella size, which is basically draft size, which is almost twice the price, but thank goodness she had one that did not fit her donkey, and it fits my donkey, so I got it for cheap. this 
vlog is much more talking face to camera than I had planned, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't film any during my lesson, obviously, because my trainer and I were extremely focused and trying to get things done um, and whatnot, and so I didn't really want to ask for a video on top of instructing and everything else, and we were the only two there. <laughs> Anyways, the lesson was fan freaking tastic. Uh, we worked patterns which were not nearly as scary to ride out as they were on paper. Um, but I know his baby's back. Anyways, um, not nearly as bad to work out as they were on paper. Like I said, um, the only surprising thing was that my trainer does want us to try and do the flying changes instead of simples for the equitation, which he is getting a lot better at this chain. The flying changes It's just now a matter of like, He's still green at it, so if I don't set him up 100% correctly, then he just gets, like, a little confused. Um, but he's not, like, squealing and jumping and freaking out anymore, which is really good. <laughs> so, baby steps, you know. Um, but we're going to keep working on that at home and then have another lesson either this weekend or next week. So, but I'm really, really happy. And she said, he, bleh, she, said she was also really happy with how he's moving and how he's looking and everything, so that was a huge weight off my shoulder just to have somebody that I really look up to think say that they think he looks good and they're really proud of our progress means so much to me and literally every compliment she gives me makes me cry but it's fine <laughs> is letting us borrow her soft rides they are basically like sneakers if you haven't heard of them with like this really awesome cushion inside and we're borrowing those for the trailer ride all right guys well this vlog has been nothing but mass chaos but it works um and I'm back at school full circle but anyways, um, I'm going to cut it off here, and then this weekend, hopefully, I'm going to get a lot of riding done, and hopefully get a lot of videos of that, um, and just more planning and working on patterns and stuff like that. So hopefully more riding videos in the next vlog, but yeah, I'll work on that, and I'll see you guys there.